The Poison Creeper Shred, Lee Kanda Druid is one of the best builds if you want to face the new Conant Abadar of Seer. The Poison Creeper Shred, Lee Kanda Druid has everything you need for Abadar of Seer, good offensive, good defense and good single target damage. And it is really simple. You dash through your enemies to apply a Vampiric Curse, then press Poison Creeper and just spam Shred and dash for the huge poison damage and keep poison creeper and earthen bulwark on cooldown all the time. And you will often crit for over 10 million damage. In addition, I built in the uber unique stuff Ahavarion, great stuff of the Likanda. Most people think this is a meme item, but actually it is really good for our build and for Abator of Seer, for the shrines, because in the Abator of Seer there are many elites and the bloodseekers also counts as elites. And as long as you lure one Bloodseeker away from the rest and kill him, you will mostly get a great shine buff and can sag the other ones down. You can even kill an elite before the Bloodseeker spawn and take another shrine buff from the standard shrines in Abathops here and will run with two shrines into the Bloodseeker. And also, the stats of the Likanda stuff is perfect for our build, as we want to have a high crit chance. It gives such a high critical psych chance boost that you will buy over 70% crit chance most of the time and the 30% attack speed is also nice as we want to attack as often as we can. So for the defensive part of the build, you will have over 18k armor, so your armor cap for the upper of Seer, you have max races and you also got the Nature's Fury in combination with the symbiotic aspect and because of your high attack speed, you will reset the cooldown of your earthen bulwark so often that is really needed boost for the survivability in Avatar. In addition, you got Andal's Visage for a huge lifesteal boost. Hey guys, after the introduction of the build, I'm going with another build guide for my main class, the Druid. And I will guide you through the gear, the Paragon board, the skills, the Vampiric powers, and the spirit boons. So let's start off with the gear. So we got Andaral's Visage in our helm slot because it has such a nice lifesteal boost as we need this for the Avatar of Seer and the Rippy content. We also have 15% attack speed as it helps to maintain our procs for our lucky hit chance and also the 20% chance to trigger a poison over that applies 15,000 poison damage over 5 seconds and so it helps with the sustain of our poison damage. So if you don't got an Andal's Visage, you can also take a legendary helm with cooldown reduction, armor, total life and another affix. I don't recommend to use God's Last Crown. It has really nice offensive stats, but we need the helm for our defensive part in the Avatar of Seer. So the question is, is Andal's Visage actually better than Harlequin's Crest the Shaco? I'm uh, testing out this at the moment. The problem with Harlequin is you will lose the huge part of the lifesteal and the poison over that helps to sustain your poison damage. You will get four skills for your poison creeper and your peak damage and cooldown reduction and 20% damage reduction. But I think you just need the lifesteal. It is your most important death start for the build. So go with Anal's Visage in the chest slot. We got our aspect of disobedience and five nice defensive stats. We got armor. Max life, damage reduction, and damage reduction from distant enemies. You can swap out max life with damage reduction while you're fortified or close enemies. But apart from that, this chest is really nice and it helps to get you to the armor cap. So in the clubs, we got the Shepherd's Aspect where our core skills get a multiplicative bonus for our companions. And because we're playing with our companions, and our Poison Creeper will take that extra damage and so it is a really really nice boost and also we got four ranks of shred lucky hit chance critical strike chance and attack speed these are our best stats you will need to take them as pens you will need to take t as well because you will get 40 percent more damage and you will get 50 percent of your primary resource back every time we will go unstoppable and this mandatory for your build and your sustain and in the next slot, our boots, we got the symbiotic aspect, as I mentioned previously. So you can sustain the Adam Bulwark and get a nice cooldown reduction on your Bulwark. Also, go with movement speed, tall armor while in werewolf form, and fire res. And also, if you got the Likanda stuff, go with shrine buff duration, otherwise, go with spirit cost reduction. So, next up, the Avaran Spear of. Likanda, the uber unique stuff and I think it is really nice for this build because we got a huge amount of crit chance as we need to scale this 
with our Poison Reaper to constantly reset it to our Spirit Boons. We got really a high attack speed, so we can always apply our Luck Hit chance bonus and the random shine effect after 20 seconds. It is good for our top seal because it scales our damage even higher. And if you're lucky and get artillery shine or conduit shine, we can mostly kill the Bloodseekers from the get-go. So if you don't have the Spear of Flicana, it is not that problematic. Just go with a normal legendary weapon with all stats, main stat, core skill damage and take the aspect of the blurred beast in your weapon and take the aspect for your lightning crit shred damage in your amulet. In our amulet we got the aspect of the blurred beast it because it is our main resource of damage, it scales really well with our Poison Creeper, it's poison damage and so Shred will deal astronomically high damage. Also, it's really important. You need to get the Toll Armor and the Toll Armor while in Werewolf from on this amulet first. It is our resource of our armor so we don't get that one-shotted in Avatar of Seer. And then as the third part, take ranks of the Venom passive and for the fourth start, you can take either the Shrine buff duration or if you don't got the Likanda stuff, take Spirit Construction or another good affix. And in the ring, we got the aspect of the Stampede. It gives us another addition of more companion and poison damage from our Poison Creeper and we also will get an additional companion for every of our skills. So we got in total three total companions. So in total 30% of more damage and for the affixes go with Lucky Chance, Max Life, Poison Damage and Crit Chance. For the second aspect, we got an aspect of the Nature Savagery. So our shirt is dealt as a Storm skill and we can proc our nature's fury and also take the same effects as on the other ring. For the gems, take the ruby for max life. In the weapon, take the sapphire for more damage while the enemies are crowd controlled or while they're vulnerable. And on your amulet and ring, you can take these three combinations. So you will get in total of max in all of your resistance slots. So for your vampiric powers, take ravenous added gives us huge chunks of attack speed with our Lakate chance. Also Metamorphosis, it is our base source of resource generation with Tibalt's Will and main source of Vulnerable apply with Prayer of the Week because every time the enemy is applied with Vampire Curse, it also gets Vulnerable. Also Sanguine Brace will get huge amounts of Fortify and 8% crit chance is really nice and Flowing Veins for 60% more damage over time while the enemies are affected by our vampiric curses. In our spirit boons, you will go with weariness for elite damage reduction, then go for iron feather for more maximum life and scythe talents for more crit chance. You can also go with swooping attacks instead of scythe talents. For the wolf, take pack leader, it is our main reset for our poison creeper, and for the snake, take masochistic. SVSF, no other good spirit boon. So what do you need to skill in your skill tree? Take one point in Storm Strike and Enhance Storm Strike. Five points into Shred as Primal Shred. Also three points for better Instinct for more crit chance. And two points for more movement speed while you're in Werewolf form. One point in Heart of the Will so you can take three points in Wild Impulses for even more core skill damage and one point in landslide and one point in prime landslide because we are constantly blocking our earth part and landslide with nature's fury we will get an additional damage bruise from the primal landslide in our defensive slots go with urban bulwark as also preserving urban bulwark for fortified generation three points into ancestral fortitude if you need them if you are um, max already you can just go with one point and three points for vigilance it is a nice addition for our damage reduction part and on your companion skills just put one point in the wolves because we will need them for more core skill damage for shepherd's aspect one point in clarity because we're constantly shape shifting and so we're getting more resources back five points in the poison creeper as also one point in brutal poison creeper so we get more critical strike chance you can also go with ferocious poison creeper so we have more uptime of our poison one point into ravens as also one point into brutal ravens we get two additional ravens so it is another 20 percent 
additional core skill damage and two points in Call of the Wild for more companion skill damage. So our Poison Creeper damage is even higher and at the moment I'm at 133,000 Poison damage. So follow up skills go one point in Neurotoxin so you can take three point in Toxic Claws for even more Poison damage and three points for Envenom so you get 60% multiplicatively damage and onto your ultimate skills we don't use any ultimate skills and go for a three point into quick shift for more damage and a three point in hide and sense for elite damage reduction on our key passive go with nature's fury. Last but not least our Pagan ball will take the left route and will go for the keeper cleave it gives us nice additional companion damage will take the last for carnage Paragon Ball, so we'll get even more spirit costs back after crit strike. And also we'll take the territorial, the territorial for more damage reduction against close targets and more damage against close enemies. Also attack speed here. In the next board, go for the inner beast for more spirit cost reduction. Also for the wilds, so we got an even 193% companion skill damage. It boosts our poison damage even more. And here in the heightened malice board, go with that legendary note. Uh, and here you will suck it in your tears of the blood cliff. On to next, we uh, we got the consistent tendrils pogon board with the cleave socket of tracker for more poison damage and your last pargon board will be the incessant guidance for even more damage and the reclamation and spirit on kill nodes the last thing i want to show you is my stats so we got total of 90k ammo we are armor cup we got 16k life 16k fortify and we got max res, 100% attack speed bonus and over 70% crit chance. I hope I could show you a really nice build with you can go really far into the Abatovs here. That is really equipped in every part of the game and will get you through the game nicer. As I said, the build planner is linked in the description in, and in the comments. Write your questions in the comments. I will answer them as quick as I can. If you liked the video, leave a like and a subscribe. It will help me enormous and will boost my channel. And until the next video, bye.